Boom! Welcome back, everybody. It is a special time of year here at The Perfect Bag. Well, it's not quite a tradition yet, but it's fixing to be. It's time for our top 10 bags of 2023. I thought a lot about how I wanted to do this. Last year, I did a top 10 laptop bags, top 10 fanny packs. I thought, do I want to break down my awards, which I think are fun, right? End up the year, think about what we accomplished, what the industry, you know, how it went, what changed, etc. Do I want to do it by category? Do I? Nah. This channel's all about every kind of bag, right? We look at everything. We look at giant bags. We look at tiny bags. We look at one liter bags, 65 liter bags. So we're going to do a top 10 list. These are the perfect bags, top 10 bags of 2023. Now I did have to put some guardrails around this thing because we looked at a lot of bags last year. Here's the only rule that I came up with. I wanted to pick bags that came out or were updated in 2023. So as an example, this bag from Harvest Label, this bag from GWA, they're not eligible. They're not eligible because those models have been around prior to the start of this year. They're still sold, you can still get them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you're not gonna see the North Face Surge on here, right? It's been out longer than just this year. So it came out or was significantly updated this year. That's the pool of bags that I chose from and it was not easy. So what was my criteria in picking the top 10 bags for, F for 2023? It was simple. Did I love them? These are the bags I loved the most. It's not objective, it's subjective. These are the bags that I kept coming back to, can't put down. In some cases, bought two, bought three different versions of the bag because I was just addicted to it, okay? So that's what we're doing, top 10 bags, and it's time to get started with number 10. Number 10 is from a company called Bounce Design Labs. You know Bounce Design Labs on this channel. I'm showing you a cool bag that I thought might be in my top 10. This one, review coming soon, but the um, DC3, uh, the, excuse me, the five, I get so stuck on naming conventions. These are the, they've got a three liter sling, a five liter sling, but this, believe it or not, it's a cool bag. Cool bag, review coming soon. Woo, love it, so cool. I'm gonna show you some other bags today too, by the way. It's not the bag that stole my heart from Bounce Design Labs in 2023. That one is this one, the number 10 bag on my list, bags that I fell in love with in 2023 is the Dapper Satchel from Bounce Design Labs. I enjoyed the DC3, I enjoyed the DC5. Mm-mm-mm. But man, did I love the Dapper Satchel. Okay, so what is the Dapper Satchel? The Dapper Satchel is a cool square of a bag. It's got lots of pockets. Pocket, 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 pocket. It is a fun collection of pockets with some magnets in there because it's Bounce Design Labs. Um, and some great fun materials like this Eco Pack um, because it is Bounce Design Labs. And I liked it so much, theme alert, I've got two. Here's a black one with a blaze interior. It's just so good. Just, just a fun bag to own, a fun bag to carry. Great little city bag, fits my iPad fits everything I need. So, number 10 bag on the list for being a useful little powerhouse with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pockets is the Dapper Satchel 
from Bounce Design Labs. Let me know in the comments if you own a Dapper Satchel, what you think about it. The most recent versions of it have this swing hitch handle that makes it even more fun to carry and just really nice straps and lots of functional pockets. There's not much else out there. You know, the 3DC and 5DC, those, um, they're in a very crowded competitive space, but there's not much out there in this shape, form factor, size. I love it. Nice job to Bounce Design Labs. Number 10, love me some Dapper Satchel. Time for bag number nine. All right, bag number nine, and we're gonna be all over the place today, y'all. Bag number nine is a travel duffel. It's the TD35 from Evergoods. It is a really, really useful and fun travel bag. Great grab handles, absolute crap ton of space in this thing. Just gorgeous. A really fun bag to use, really nice to carry, high contrast interior, super cushion, nice functional pockets on both sides of the bag. If you are in the market for a new travel bag, I highly recommend the TD35 from Evergoods. And it is so nice that once again, I bought it twice. This is gonna be a theme on this uh, top 10 list. Bags that I just kept coming back to, couldn't quit, absolutely love. The TD35 is on that list and it is a joy to use. I love it in this Griffin colorway with a bright orange interior, but I think you should be aware that the Griffin colorway feels much stiffer little bit less give and flex. This bag feels more open. See that? See that? It just feels a little bit more open um, in the uh, traditional version rather than the wax canvas, but come on, right? Yeah. So TD35, a great bag, a great travel experience, really useful. Not really gym bag material. If you're thinking about using this as like a gym duffel, no, no. This is clearly a travel bag and it's a great one. That's number nine on the list. I'm telling you, these are fantastic, fantastic bags. It's time for bag number eight. Bag number eight is from Mystery Ranch, an incredible brand. And I am just so hyped about everything they did this year. Look at this. It's the Carryology Times Mystery Ranch Unicorn 2. What an amazing bag. We had so much fun with that bag, but that's not bag number eight on our list. The actual best bag made by Mystery Ranch in 2023 is this. Another bag that I haven't even had a chance to get the review made, but I've loved using this bag. So bag number eight in our first backpack on the list is the Catalyst 26 from Mystery Ranch. This is in a rust colorway. It's got the fantastic Mystery Ranch harness on the back. It's just beautiful. It has great side pockets on both sides. This is like an updated version of their Cooley hiking pack um, that, had, that has added a top loading laptop and tablet sleeve on the back. It's got fantastic quick access on the top. Um, really, really useful. The same quick access pocket that I love, the same tri-zip that I love on the Unicorn, but it has a couple of things that I like better. Number one, more size in the 26 liter version. This is specifically the Catalyst 26 that is bag number eight on our list. It's got tons of space in here. It's got an interior bottle holder that can be used for uh, anything cylindrical. We're talking umbrellas, we're talking um, tripods, foldable tripods. We're talking anything right here or on the side. So three total bottle pocket holders. We've got an interior tablet holder. We've got a top pocket up here. We've got 
the quick access pocket, pockets on the side. And so this bag, the organization is the best I've seen on a Mystery Ranch bag. And I gotta say, Mystery Ranch's lineup of bags is the most confusing in the universe to me. There's just so much overlap, but looked at another way, there's just so much choice, variations on a theme, endless variations on a theme. This is the best of it. I love the Catalyst 26. It's a great backpack, new in 2023, and it's number eight on my list of best bags of 2023. It's a good one, Mystery Ranch. Maybe even a sleeper hit, a little under the radar. I love it. It's time. It's time. We're moving on to number seven on our list. Number seven on our list is another backpack. And it's a backpack from a company in Vietnam. All right, this is not the bag that I'm talking about, but I did want to show it to you because it speaks to the uh, innovation happening from Sea Tactical in Vietnam. Um, sea Tactical, a company that uh, is flourishing really in the bag space. Um, they started out cloning bags, I'll say, tributing, inspired by, whatever. But now they're doing their own thing clearly. And the, the folks at Sea Tactical, I think, are absolutely crushing it. And so this is a great example of kind of the innovation space that they're playing in. This was their assassin bag. And a little flex here. This is bag zero of 99, one of 100. This is the OG. But uh, this one is absolutely beautiful, right? You've got this gorgeous deep red ripstop interior. You have a um, quick access pocket on top, which a lot of companies could learn something from. You've got the beautiful laptop compartment on the back with the red interior, double zippers, aqua guard, just fantastic. Fantastic, great bag. But like I said, that's not the one that I'm in love with. It is incredible, but it didn't make the top 10 list. The bags from C Tactical that made the top 10 list, the CT15. So this is bag number seven on our list. I've got two different versions of it. Again, this variation on the theme, I love the bag so freaking much that I acquired multiple different versions of it. I bought both of these bags. This is the X, the Multicam Black X50 X-Pack, complete Multicam Black version of the bag. I love it, gorgeous, super cool. Like check out this, I mean, it's just amazing, amazing. This one sold out quickly, but they're constantly putting up new versions of this bag. And this bag is just a perfect EDC laptop bag for me. It is just gorgeous. This one, man, do I love this thing. It's got this beautiful yellow interior. I've decked it out on the hook and loop back panel with a VanQuest accessory. I just love carrying this bag. This one's an equal pack, eco pack, and it's got quick access pocket. It's got bottle holders on the side. I mean, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. CT15 from C Tactical. They are killing the game. I love the innovation. I love the new things that they're trying. I love the responsiveness. Um, and this bag was a product of a group buy, a custom bag. Um, and you can get in on some of those occasionally from time to time in the Facebook group for uh, Sea Tactical fans. But uh, everything that they're doing, I just, I love it. I love the CT21s, I love the CT5, the CT3, but the CT15, this one is the one that was for me in the top 10 bags of 2023. So fun to use. Don't knock them till you've tried them. They're great. All right. I'm ending up with a massive pile of bags over here. It's time for bag number six on our list. And I am destined at some point to lose track of the numbers that I'm on. But bag number six, I'm pretty sure, is where we're at right now. And it is a bag that was so good that again, I bought it twice, multiple versions, I'm in love. 
This is my favorite bag maker in the entire universe. You know where I'm going here. Green Room 136, just absolute fire this year. They introduced a lot of cool bags and they are killing it. So this is the Quick Draw from Green Room 136. It is an EDC City crossbody bag and it is just stand alone in this space. It is so fun. It's like all Green Room 136 bags, chunky, blocky, funky, feels thick in all the right ways, right? It, it just feels great. I mean, do you ever, do you remember holding those? So you got the number two pencils, but do you remember those souvenir pencils that you would buy? Like when you went to like a local national park or um, tourist destination and you get those long chunky pencils that were bigger than all the other pencils. That's what this, these bags always feel like to me, a little bigger than they need to be, a little chunkier, blockier than they need to be. The zippers are bigger than they need to be. Everything's, the handles are bigger. Than, and it, it's just fun to use. So you've got great pockets all over this sucker. Very useful. All the pockets are big and blocky. Nothing is overly specific. Um, and then you've got this great little space in the back and that's where I stick my EDC wallet. Um, so I, I just gotta say, this bag is a sweet spot of size for me. It holds an 11 inch tablet with no problem. It holds a DSLR with no problem. It just is wonderful. And the bonus is that you can take the strap off easily and this becomes a little bag insert that you can fit into most 20 liter backpacks like that or like that um, and has a nice grab handle and you can just stow the, stap, the strap. Just an incredibly useful bag. This is the Golden Cordura version. This is the VX42 version that I went back for more when I saw this thing. It's got the Marigold interior from Green Room. It's just, it's just beautiful. An incredible bag, incredibly useful. It's one of those bags that I just, I didn't know how much I needed this size bag in my lineup until I started carrying them more this year. So the Dapper Satchel is in this range, the Green Room Quick Draw is in this range, and one more bag we're gonna talk about here in a little bit is also in this range of size. Uh, just awesome, awesome. Green Room 136, killing it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it so much that we're gonna do another Green Room 136 bag. Number five on the list, a brand new backpack from the team at Green Room 136 this year. It is the North Seeker. God, I love this bag. It is so, so good. I love the straps. I love the blockiness. I love the form factor. I love that it stands on its own. I love everything about it. So front pocket, delicious admin section. Really, really nice. Pockets on both sides. Chunky key D-ring. Front pocket, useful. Back pocket. Main section, double pockets on the front, double pockets on the back, slip pocket on the back, and the new book pouch that you can slip in with purple corduroy because green room is baller. And pocket, yeah, just awesome. This bag is just about perfect, just about perfect. If it had a dedicated laptop sleeve, it would be perfect, and I might be out of a job. Um, stops a little bit short of that, but it is just a joy to carry. It comes in two different sizes. Comes in a lot of materials, and now you can get a custom version, which I have already ordered and will be coming soon. Um, so, love this bag. I have now three, yeah, three different versions of this bag, the VX42, the Cordura, and the Custom. I'm just in love. It is so fun to carry. So 
it, yeah, absolutely killed it with this bag, Green Room. Um, I think you know you killed it with this bag. It is just maybe the most comfortable and fun backpack to carry that I have. Yeah, it's just fun. Time four. That was bag five? Yeah, I told you I'd lose count. Time for bag number four. Uh, for bag number four, okay, we gotta stop the green room streak that they're on, right? It is time to talk about one of my absolute favorite bags of the year. Number four on our list, the Loculus from Cargo. Now this is what I call a sausage sling. It is one of these long format slings and it is in white X-Pack, which is just fire. And they have a lot of different colors now on this bag. It is such a great bag and so insanely useful. Let me show you this. I mean, come on. Bright orange interior, but with white X-Pack detail inside. You've got a tech sleeve. You've got one, two, three, four pockets inside the main pocket. And then this just really long section that works for a water, bo water bottle. It works for, for me, for my big long gimbal without taking it apart and disassembling it. Inside the front, you have a key leash and then you have two stretchy pockets and then the main compartment. It's just fun. What a fun bag. It's got a grip handle on the back, two grip handles. Fantastic, fantastic, comfortable strap. Hook and loop section on the bottom, compression straps. I just, I love it. I find myself reaching for this bag again and again and again. I've got a lot of these kind of sausage slings. I've got them from um, Green Room. I've got them from Chrome Industries. I've got them from Defy. But I just keep grabbing this one. I just love it. So well made. Love the detail. I mean, look at these fun poles. Just really, really nice. So. Great detail, fun bag, love to carry it, and it's just great for walking around town, walking around the city. It's even got a fun little neoprene pocket right here that you can stick your AirPods into. Well thought out. A well thought out bag that is a joy to use. The Loculus from Cargo Bags. Let's keep it rolling. We're down to our top three bags of 2023, are you ready for this? Number three, we're going back to Malaysia. Back to Malaysia for Green Room. They have three bags in the top 10. They were innovative as hell this year. I get, now, I've had three different versions of this bag this year. I just, this is, my most carried bag of the year, period. This is the Sidekeep RDX from Green Room 136, and it is a beast of a little exterior pocket. This, is, this thing is fantastic. So inside this front pocket, you have a large slip pocket, pocket knife size, pocket multi-tool size. You've got a wallet size pocket and a D-ring to attach AirPods or keys to, in addition to a slip pocket in the front. In the second section, you've got purple corduroy, because green room is the best, purple corduroy tech sleeve, sized just right for an iPad mini, a Kindle, or most appropriately, a big ass chunky phone, a modern phone, slips right into that pocket. And then you've got the main section, which is a gigantic pocket with two slip pockets. Anything you could want to carry in there. I carry my gimbal in there, sunglasses in there, carry a battery backup in there with a couple of cords. It is just perfect. The grab handle is nice. I've attached my own um, strap just because I wanted to change things up. This bag also, this is the VX42 version of this bag. You can see still with the purple corduroy and still with the beautiful marigold interior. This bag might be, in addition to just being a baller little bag to carry around with you and so comfortable to wear as a crossbody bag, it might be the perfect convertible sling that goes from bag within a bag and then you just pop off your strap and toss it in one of the pockets. 
and then you pull it out, toss the strap back on, and you've got a little crossbody. So it goes from being a little perfect, um, yeah, just kind of lunchbox sized bag that you can put all your EDC in, toss it in your larger office carry. Man, you like when you pair up this sucker with a green room North Seeker, like it just it just works so insanely well. Like you you can do the whole the whole shebang. Like you can take a North Seeker and you can drop in a quick draw. And you can drop in or you can drop in a side keep. I don't even know what to say. Y'all, Green Room killed it this year. Like, you know I love their bags. Every month it was something new. Every month I was like, damn, blown away by what they were producing. So, unapologetically a fanboy. Love me some Green Room. That was bag number three of 2023. They crushed it. They killed the game. Great job, team. What's number two? Bag number two came out of left field and smacked me in the face. Bag number two was the biggest surprise of the year for me. Bag number two ended up being just a, a dynamo that I just can't get enough of. I'm praying that more versions of this bag are produced. You know, call me y'all. You, you know I've sent you messages. I want to collab on this bag. I want, a, I want a perfect bag collab version of this bag. I am in love. I'm a card carrying member of the Chio X fan club. Holy crap, this bag is amazing. And I, I said in the review, right? I get it. Everybody looks at this thing and says, oh, nice purse. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Insanely useful. Most insanely useful bag. I mean, it's just absurd how great this bag is in actual usability and performance. This is function defining form. Function defining form. This bag is gorgeous. The denim isn't for everybody. I think it's amazing. It's got a bright red interior, but what makes this bag so great? Two really nice felt lined pockets that are perfect for sunglasses, perfect for phones, perfect for anything. It is this kind of perfect five by seven shape here that carries so much of what we carry right now in their felt line. So if you want to use them for electronics, you can. They're on the front of the bag, very well thought out. On the back of the bag, you have a nice large slip pocket for flat items. You also have a hook and loop strip in case you want to put an admin panel in there. You also have two pockets right here, one on each side that meet in the middle. Also high contrast, also red. You can stick anything you want in those little pockets. On the side, you have elastic bottle holders, perfect for 20 ounce drinks. They fade away and they disappear when you're not using them. On the inside, you have one, two, three pockets and then the main compartment and then you have attachment points on the sides of the bag on the inside. It's, it's just great. It's got AquaGuard zippers. It's got nice pull tabs and it's just comfortable as hell to carry. This, this bag forms kind of, it folds around you and when you carry and you tug up on it, it, it goes from being the kind of this weird shape to tugging up and being this shape. And this shape just forms around your body so perfectly. Like Alpha One Niner is killing it with the backpack game, right? They've got so many bags that came out and updated this year on the backpack space. Everybody's all about them. I'm all about this. The Chio X is supremely useful. If you don't have one of these, like what are you waiting for? This bag is great, great. It is the best travel crossbody bag out there. I took this thing to Tokyo. Oh my God. I'm about to do an entire video on why this is the perfect city travel bag, but 
Good Lord, y'all. Please, just take my word for it. Get yourself a Chio X. It is my number two bag of 2023, which brings us to hallowed ground. Bag of the year in 2023. That's what we're talking about right now. Bag of the year. And I am so hyped to reveal that my bag of the year for 2023 is the Griffin from Evergoods. It is a collab bag. The Griffin time time excuse me the Carryology Times Evergood Griffin. It is a CPL 24. It is in this beautiful wax canvas. Looks leather like. Um, this is the black version. It came in four different colors. I had the tan version at first and I sold it. I traded it for a one of a kind um, messenger bag that honestly I love. Um, but I had so much regret after I sold this bag. But what did I do? I went and bought another one. I've accessorized it up. This is the backpack that I have used the most since it entered my life. I've added all these brown accents to it. It is just gorgeous. What's going on with this bag? Well, you've got a just insane orange interior. You've got a fantastic laptop pocket exterior side entry. You've got the best quick access pocket in the industry. You've got grab handles on both sides, robust, beefy. My wife added the paracord. I, I just, I don't know what to say. This is the bag of the year. It is so beautiful. Like it is masterpiece level beautiful. It's a bag that I'm never letting go of again. And I can't imagine not having in my collection. As of the taping of this video, you can still get this black version. It's still available, which is mind boggling to me. Mind boggling. You really should consider it. It is the bag of the year for this channel, probably for other channels as well. The whole collection was great. This is the masterpiece. And I'm just so proud to own it. So delighted to use it. It is a bag that can go from the boardroom to a motorcycle, to a hike, to the back of a pickup truck. This bag can exist anywhere, everywhere. It's just a beautiful, beautiful specimen. And it can be a travel bag. It can be a work bag. It can be a school bag. It can be anything it needs to be. And it's going to get beat to hell. It's going to get a beautiful patina. This wax canvas is heirloom quality. It's going to last forever. I'm just so proud of it. I'm so proud to own it. I'm so proud of Evergoods. Proud of Carryology for continuing to push the industry forward. And I'm just, hell. It was a great year for bags. 2023 saw innovation, saw collaboration, saw some absurdities for sure, saw some, you know, unne unnecessary nonsense for sure. But more than anything, the bag space continues to be a community that I'm super proud to be a part of. There's so many creative people out there doing creative things. So many people who are, you know, redefining, you know, the rules of carry, redefining kind of what's available on the market, pushing the boundaries, having fun. And our needs in this space are changing too. We're carrying less, we're carrying different. We've got different electronic devices we need with us. We're, you know, switching as a society across the world into a more casual mindset in a lot of spaces. There's more people wearing, you know, athleisure wear every day of their life. It's amazing. Lots of changes, lots of fun. 
lots of very cool bags. So everybody, I really do hope you enjoyed my top 10 bags of 2023. Let me know what I got wrong. Because <laughs> I know that this is not a top 10 list that everybody will agree with. What did I miss? What's your number one bag? What did I leave out of my top 10 that I'm just absolutely stupid for doing so? I just blown away by what was on offer, blown away by the kindness of people in the industry, blown away by the collaborative spirit of the industry, blown away by the innovation in materials, the innovation in colors, the innovation in form factor. 2024 is going to be even better. And we're getting in the game. You're going to see the first the perfect bag collaborations hit in 2024, and I think you're going to be delighted. Everybody, thanks so much as always. Hope you enjoyed our top 10 list, and hmm, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye for now, everybody.